Hello. Hello, this is Gendrift here, and we got barter economy and like literally everything else. Um Wow, even the low chance researches we got a new combustible barter economy, thank god. Of the stocked resources in all territories to state owned. Okay, so do you send a spare pop? You do have some spare pop. Beautiful. Alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Um Ah, oh, we still have copper ore there. So how much inventory space do you have? Two hundred and thirteen. We're going to drop off. I'm going to pick up and drop off 60 barley. Over for this guy here because he lost all of his barley yesterday. Ah, good. I can use that. This guy has officially gone inactive and hasn't responded to any messages for days. So he's gone. Which is really unfortunate. I don't know, we could actually hunt. No, that's just one cow. Okay. So unload that. And now we are going to begin preparing to go to a barter economy. Now what all is involved in that? Oh, there's a lot involved in that. There's a lot involved in that. And I'm going to set it up and do everything before we take it. Because <laughs> you do it wrong, things go really bad. Access any available, but they want, but it no longer be the case once you enable fair exchange. For people access, they'll need to be distributed first, and they'll have to purchase it. Market stands. Market stands are free. Consumer workforce cannot distribute resource from stock. Only the seller. And they only sell their current buildings productions. Merchants mean will sell any available resource produced or stored, but they require one worker and they're not free to build. They also keep a share of everything for themselves. Including food that is not distributed by merchants or market stands. It would be urgent that you start by making food, other than the resources such as pottery and everything, available to your people again by placing merchants or setting up market stands with your production buildings. Okay be much more efficient, more stable, less conflict, bigger community with less risk of instability. You'll also be able to control if and how much you want to distribute each produced resource depending on your needs, which you can't do in a gift economy. It enables a primitive form of currency. You'll now also have to manage your government's treasury balance, which is in charge of all the services. Da -da 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 payments. Da -da 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 These from all personal funds. Okay. Up to 20% of their own income. Okay, so. We will immediately begin all the work required to do this correctly. So. Victoria tool production will decrease because of some of the stuff that we need to do. Basically it's going to be this video is going to be basically be about how to properly set up for a market economy. That can keep going. Oh, and we'll upgrade a bunch of houses while we're here at it. Upgrade you, upgrade you, up, 
Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Might as well do it now while all the stuff is free. How to properly set up for the new economy. Alrighty, so you do everything that costs money off the bat. I need to labor, so you're going to sleep, and you're going to sleep. Alrighty, so we have a few things. We have charcoal clamps, which I'm going to ignore. Potter, do we not get brewery yet? Eh, perhaps we didn't get brewery yet. I've used that drat. I used all the axes for upgrading. Oh, so I have to turn on barter economy before I can do that. <clears throat> alrighty. Alrighty, so. <sighs> okay, okay. Go figure. Knowledge is. Uh, fermentation is still going. So we're going to have a little while before we switch over to the new economy correctly. So... Yeah. Okay. I did not entirely see that coming. And this place lacks hose to do some of what it needs to do. Hmm. 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 Kind of lacking hose. Among other things. This once this is done, we'll get a lot more axes. Oh, I made a mis I made a mistake already. Because I need to get one of these up. Oh, well, let's see where I can get the docks put together. Not there. Not there. Because it's not going to let it fill in terrain. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Because it has to be partially in the water to work. Not deep enough there. Hmm. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to build this one. Because it requires a certain depth for the docks. It requires two depth. And without anything that's uh, this next to two depth, it won't work. Well, that's unfortunate. Which means I'm actually going to have to physically build stuff. Which I can't do right now. So in the meantime, it'll just be these. Which is fine. That is fine. Okay, so that's a good thing to note. You're going to be upgraded. I need more axes. I did this the wrong way. So do you have any spare population? You have five spare. 
That's actually kind of good. You have gold ore, you have meat, you have lettuce, you have dates. Oh, and we have animal husbandry too. Hose, hose. Okay, so some of the stuff that we're going to do. Oof. <laughs> Decreasing to 31. Oof. I think that's a bit close. Oh well. So you're going to plant more dates here. And then we're going to take the hose and we're going to move them. So this will be two episodes on how to prepare for um, barter. Because I know these will be good for five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. Oh no. And five? I've got to move all those over now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, the date farms. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, uh, third, damn it, four. Get out of the way. Go over there. Four and five. So I've got to move you over one when you're done. One, two, three, four, and five. That'll expand those farms a little bit. Which is good. Their housing is good. Which is also good. I have the next level of fishers, don't I? Yes. Which requires spears and axes, but I didn't get spears. <laughs> okay. That was a small oversight. I didn't realize spears would be required. Ah, uh, that, that's, uh... That's an oops. I did not. The uh, bar Lee is delivered. Uh, I did not realize tier two fishers need spears. Oh well. Are you done? Yes, you're done. So you can move that one space over that I require of you. I apparently also placed you in the wrong spot. I was mildly confused as to why that would be there. But you need to be there too. I kind of wish that if you had an orchard, this would also provide you with some wood. Because orchard trees do eventually go bad. And it's kind of disappointing that uh, I can't do anything with it. Thirty seconds. Ah, now I can move all you guys. Move all these over. So I'm not completely daft with my farming. Just mostly daft, not completely. Cattle farm. This will be over here. 
which means that you're going to be demolished. We should have enough hammers for that, and we have a few cattle buffaloes for this as well. And I think I might put them up against the river. So we can get some of the high fertility stuff. Okay, you're done. You get scooted over. There we go. Very good. Okay. And we pop out of here. I believe that is all the hose, so I need to load up the hose. Oof, that took all the hose almost. We'll grab the 20. Unload that into here. Because the problem being that, um, yeah, anything that is not used by something in some way, shape, or form, that is going to concern me. The loyalty being here being so close. Although I can just pop these warriors over there and that solve the problem. Do you have hose? No, but you do. But you also need to expand your farms. I am very uncomfortable about your situation. So you guys go over there for the time being, too. Okay, and your loyalty is going to be in the 40s. Partly because of conflict. Knowledge is. Let's see. That doesn't cost me anything in terms of state power. Good. Alrighty. Load this up. And we're going to expand the farms here, as required. With five farms, so five additional fields for each, fa each farm. Wheat, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, you're out of wheat. Okay. Twenty. That is an unfortunate thing to note. Boost everything up to twenty. We're going to be losing some population in the short term. Oh well. That's one, two. Yeah, there's a little hiccup there. Three, four, and five. One, two, three, damn, I hate how awkward those are, four, and five, and then you, you can't do anything because there's no chickpeas left. Alrighty. You. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, 
Well, I hope I made the light, right fields. Yes. Lettuce. One, two, three, four, and five. Ugly arrangement there again. You're doing good. I could expand this by five. Uh, do I really want to? Do I? Nah. Not right now. Clay's being mined. I might end up halting all clay mining and just taking the clay from these other places and bringing them in for a little while until we get the population back up again. Because I'm not going to hunt anything until after I do the uh, until after I do the barrier economy. The main reason for that being well, it's the best way to do it. Because then I own the meat and drop it off and sell the meat so the money goes to me. Okay, and you should have enough hoes. I highly doubt you have enough hoes, to be actually perfectly honest. Alrighty, dates or cabbage lettuce first? Let's do lettuce. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Alrighty, so where do I actually put these? They're up here. One, two, place in the wrong spot, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, you just need four. One, two, three, and four. Barley is oversized. The flax farm is not. But we're out of hose. Okay. I can't probably make the market stalls for the farms, can I? No, that's actually blocked off too. Okay, that's actually kind of acceptable. <sighs> so, just the workers for that that are off to the side. So yeah, now the time is spent upgrading. This might take a few episodes to properly fully upgrade before we can do barter. 35 state power. Oh well. Pop off. We'll go back to Tutra. Which should have the first thing set up. Ah, thank God for water. No, oh, this episode's gone on for a while, and I've only done two cities. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so they are indeed all set. I don't have anything for that. 
Um, we have buffaloes here, right? Yeah, we've got buffaloes here. Buffaloes. And Buffy. We can plop that one there. Plop that one there. Plop that there. And there we go. That gives us a few different areas for that. Okay. Good. 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 That takes care of that place. We upgraded these pretty much. We have loads of flax available. And again, I don't want to carry those over there right away. They have nothing with which to upgrade those farms here with. Although I can fix that because we need 10 lettuce. And 5 dates. 10 lettuce and 5 dates. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to grab 15 hoes. Now you're going to grab all 27. You're going to pop over here. You're going to unload to that point. Then you're going to add three more because I'm an idiot. Good. Then you're going to add ten lettuce. And you're going to add five dates. And we're going to take these over here and we're going to unload those. The key thing is to do all these upgrades before it costs money. Alrighty, that goes there. There'll be small population hits in various areas. I'm going to transfer population from the outlying cities into the capital so I can be sure to staff everything. And with all that set up, we can be sure that uh, everything will be ready. Lettuce. That's crap. One, two, three, four, and five. Where's the other lettuce? Someone seems to have a spare already. Not where your fields down here. One, two, three, four, and five. So that is all that. You're the date farm. Uh, one, two, three. There are other areas that are perhaps more fertile, like individual spots in the wilderness. Kind of like what I did with that one. Right here. Is that the only place? That's probably going to be the only place. That actually is indeed the only place. So how many do you have? You need two more. Dates. One and two. There we go. That'll boost food production when we do the upgrade. Which 
which is all key. Oh, okay, yeah, we can take that. Thank you, thank you, you're way too kind. <laughs> uh, we don't have any copper. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> Ten. We'll try to get ourselves some spare copper in the meantime. I think I might make a bit fewer axes. Oh, well, so we might have to pay to upgrade the um, fisheries in the future. I'm going to stop making as many axes because we don't have the copper at the moment anyway. Since, if I'm correct, they're still researching. Nope, they're just being dumb. Okay. That's not. That's going to be a while before it's done. So, 50% uh, for copper. You're going to make me hose. That won't even slow down production of axes because we just don't have the copper right now. The, co the bottleneck is copper. And I need copper to research. So, 0 0.8. 0 0.8 axes. Which is really unfortunate because I need three for these. And these are going to be very important. Very, very important. But everything is upgraded now. And so that is it for the moment. So we'll be back next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And what is a longer, very much longer episode. See ya. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenGeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because it'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.